I've gotten to essentially be an astronaut for a year. I know it's simulated. I know outside the dome there's air out there, but you know, if I never get to be a real astronaut, this will be the closest I've had the opportunity to get. And we'll put the helmet on you. Space is a driver of technology. We're coming up with technologies that eventually come back to people on Earth and help us live better here as well. There you go. Ah, oh, look at that. Woo! Anyone who's ever seen an LED, flown in an airplane, driven down the road in a car with radial tires, that's all inherited from NASA tech. All right, same thing as before. Okay, so forward. Down and to the side. A friend of mine, she's had severe osteoporosis her whole life. NASA studies astronauts because in zero G, they lose bone mass. My friend was able to test a medicine for NASA that actually helped her overcome her osteoporosis. And those are the sort of advances that come from the space program. And as you can see here on the door, we have a list where we keep track of who is taking a shower when and for how long. If every household was using resources the way we do here, we would greatly diminish our environmental impact. If we are able to find a way to use these resources sustainably in space and on Mars, then we have a way to apply them on Earth. Is that too tight? No, that's good. Anything that you invest into space is going to be brought back and give you an enormous yield. It's going to be a cycle. We do better on Earth, we'll do better in space. We do better in space, we're going to do better on Earth. And it's going to keep building just like that for all of the future of humankind. New experiments, new cave explorations, new geology tasks. I think the most exciting part of all of this is that we get to learn things that are really going to inform a future Mars mission. That's incredible to me.